Hello friends, Heather here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a Victorian inspired vintage Valentine's Day banner using some collage sheets that I have designed and some fabulous ribbons and trims and flowers from Really Reasonable Ribbon, as well as my favorite art glitters and art glitter glue. I have also um, used frayed burlap distress ink with my um, distressing inking tool here. So I just wanted to show you really quick two of the pieces that I have already made because um, I thought it would just be easier if I showed you how to construct um, one since I've already done two and then that way you'll know how to create the rest of them. But I have this one here which has one of my Valentine's Day um, postcard images on it and that one's of like two turtle doves. This one here has got the two cupids on the arrow. And I like to find images um, from Karen at the Graphic Fairy, which then I alter. So um, that is two of the hearts. And the one that we're going to uh, work on now is right here. So I have um, my plain cream music hearts as my bases, um, which come on a collage sheet. And then I have my Kirby banners, one of my banners, which is another collage sheet. And then I also have a uh, another one of my Victorian um, postcards. So I'll just bring that up here so you can see how pretty. And sorry about the shadows. I am shooting my video at nighttime because that seems to be the quietest or first thing in the morning. So let's go ahead and get started on making our banner. Okay, first I took my fine tip applicator and my designer dries clear glue from Art Glitter and I applied a fine bead of glue around the bottom edge of my postcard image and then I added my crochet lace from Really Reasonable Ribbon. I will have links to all the products I've used in my blog post um, as well as the video of course for the um, tutorial here on this. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the side edges and across the top. I'm just going to add some glue and then this time I am going to add some of the cute pom-pom trim in ivory that Bonnie has at Really Reasonable Ribbon. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that now. There we go. Let me pull it down just a little. Okay. And then I'm just going to stick it on there. I might have to add a little bit of glue here at the bottom or not. Let's see. To the lace. So there we go. And I am going to do this same thing to the other two sides, and I will be right back. Okay, now that I have all my pom-pom trim applied, I went ahead and I added four of the Tombow Fix-It Foam tabs, one in each corner here of the back of my postcard, and I used the small size. And I have lined up my banner piece, because I want to make sure that I have about the same amount of banners sticking out on both sides of my um, postcard. I'm just going to flip this back over, hold it down in the center, and then I'm going to take my glue and just kind of add a bead of glue here on one side and mush it. Give it a little squish, squish, smush, smush. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. So you can see here that I've just added some glue and then I'm going to squish it in place. So now I have my banner and my postcard. And next I am going to take off my foam tabs here. So just get these out of the way. And then I am going to line up my piece on my heart image here. So I'm going to go about, I think, right here. Looks pretty good to me. I am happy with that. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my Bow It All tool out. And on this tag here, I will be using this really pretty pink ribbon from Really Reasonable Ribbon. Let's see if I can, you can see how it has texture to it there, the stripes. Um, 
you can feel the texture. It's really a great fun ribbon. So I will be right back. Okay, I am back with my Zutter Bow It All tool. I have my front peg set in the four inch and the five inch mark, and my back pegs are in the four inch and the six inch mark. I have a little bit of play in my left hand of the ribbon here. Um, and I'm gonna start at the back, and I am going to use, my right hand is holding my working end of the ribbon. And I'm gonna start behind both of the back tags. I'm gonna do a figure eight, coming around the front of the right peg and behind the back left peg. Now I'm going to come in front of my back left peg and behind both of the two front pegs. Now I'm going to do another figure eight around my front right peg and then behind my front left peg. And now I'm going to take my ribbon back through the center here and around my front left all the way to the back pegs. So I am now behind my back right peg and I'm gonna come around the front of my right pe back hand peg. I'm gonna do a figure eight behind my back left hand peg. I'm gonna come back in front of that and now I am going to just bring my ribbon back to the front pegs. So now I am behind my right front peg, wrapping around that and doing a figure eight around my left front peg. And now I am at the center here and I'm just gonna come back to the back one more time, my back right peg. And actually I'm just gonna hold my ribbon here cause I'm, I'm pretty much done. And now I'm going to um, leave it in the center. I'm gonna have my left hand come up and through my center and then back around through the bottom. And I'm just gonna squish this up so that I get my bow center. And you can fold it if you want to, um, but with this ribbon it has a lot of texture, so I really don't. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a knot here. And tighten that. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull my two ends of my ribbon back. I'm gonna turn it sideways here so you can see. I'm gonna fold it in half. So I have the fold is on my right. And I'm gonna start with my scissors um, to the right and I'm gonna cut away from me on an angle so that I have pretty tails on my bow. All right, so now I'm just gonna pop my bow off. And now I have a really cute little double bow. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add that to our piece here. So you're gonna to wanna to get your Art Glitter Designer Dries clear glue out again, and we are gonna glue that on. I'll be right back. Okay, I added some glue here to the center bottom of my card, and now I am just going to um, put my bow on here and give it a little squish down to hold that in place. And then I am um, also going to put another little dot of glue here on top of my bow in the center. And that is where my 15 millimeter mulberry ivory rose, the ivory rose is going to go. And I'm kind of like, if you gotta hold something to dry for a while, you might as well hold them both at the same time. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and I have Use my fine tip applicator and my Art Glitter Designer Dries Clear Glue to add some glue to my banner edges. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add some Arbor Glitter, which is number 287. And I'm just going to sprinkle the rest of that off. All right, and now I'm just going to um, add some dots of glue. And I'm going to do that by starting in each corner here and then put one in the center, and then just center one more between those two. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. And then I will do the same thing at the top. Just gonna to put one in the center. And now I'm actually just gonna put two more. 
So you just kind of center your dots in here. And I'm just going to add one more to the bottom of each, each side. And I'm also going to add the same color glitter to these dots. Now on my other one that I did in the pink colors, I used peachy, just peachy glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a little tap. Tap it this way. And look how pretty and glittery it looks. All right, I'm just using a five by seven card base to catch all my extra glitter. So I can easily just put it right back into the container. And then I will just give my card like a little tap here to get the rest of my glitter in. So here we go. Okay, and again, that was number 287, Arbor. Okay, so this is the one that um, I used the Just Peachy on. So you can see my Just Peachy dots of glitter there. All right, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna outline the edge of my hearts, or my heart here in this case, with my fine tip applicator and glue. And I'm just gonna follow like the edge of my heart shape. Do the same thing on this side. And then come to the bottom and try not to smoosh my little dot like I just did. So you gotta be a little more careful. And put just a little piece there. I'll just set that down for a moment while I get my number 208 Fauna glitter, which is like a great vintage color. Like a vintage cream. Okay. Let's put some here at the bottom. There we go. And then go ahead and put it around the edges here. Okay. There we go. And when I'm all done, I'll give my ribbon a little tap to get rid of the extra there. But Look how pretty and sparkly. All right, I will be right back with the next step. Okay, I've decided that I'm gonna add a tiny button to the top of each of my hearts here. So I have this really pretty blue set of buttons right here that I got from Really Reasonable Ribbon. And they're the teal ice is what's, um, on the back of the thing. Um, so you can find those at Really Reasonable Ribbon. And then I also used some buttons from the Vintage Bonanza collection. That's where the pink ones come from. And I just have them in a um, plastic baggie. And then I'm going to use some um, cotton candy baker's twine and some of the uh, blue baker's twine here, like a teal blue. So I am going to go ahead and just tie a little bow in each of my buttons and I will be right back. All right, I've already um, glued down two of my buttons and I just wanted to show you how I do this uh, really quick. So I have my pink baker's twine and I'm just gonna thread it through one of the holes here on my button. And then I'm gonna come up to through the next hole here. If I can get it to go through there, there we go. So I've gone down through one and up through the next one. And now I'm going to cross over and go back down. There we go. So that I have a little cross diagonal here with my baker's twine. And then I'm gonna come back up through the last one here. And I'm just going to adjust my baker's twine a little bit here. And I'm just going to tie a knot. And now I'm just going to tie a bow. Which I have my camera kind of sitting far away from me, so it's kind of hard to tie my bow from a distance. But 
Let's see if I can do this here. There we go. I have this really big bow. And I'm just going to pull on my tails till my bow is like just like at the edge of my button. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And then just look to see that they're, you know, kind of the same size. And then I'm going to trim my tails just past the edge of my button as well. And there you have it. Okay, get that out of the way, get my glue. I'm just going to put a dollop of glue here at the top of my heart, the little peak where it comes in. And I'm going to glue my button in place. All right, so I'm going to let this dry and then I'll be back. Okay, now that my pieces have all dried, I um, took my crocodile and I punched holes. And I just used my regular crocodile here to just punch a tiny hole here, like you can see, on both sides of my heart. And I did that for all three of my pieces. And I am going to use my favorite Havana Brown seam binding from Really Reasonable Ribbon to um, hold all three of my pieces together. So I'm just going to... Um, Scrunch this up a little bit and fold it. And I'm going to start with this piece. And I'm going to come down through the top to the back. And this is kind of one of those processes that takes me a little while. If I can actually get it, there we go. And I'm just going to kind of run a bunch of ribbon here through that. And then. I'm going to do the same thing. Now I'm just going to come back up through the back of the hole to the front. So you'll have a piece of ribbon going across the back. And then it'll be not visible from the front. You'll only see the part in between your banner pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and make that just a little longer. And again, I'm going to start by going down through the top of my banner piece so that the ribbon is hidden behind it. And you kind of destroy that edges of that, but that's okay because you're just going to um, trim them anyway. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my pieces and I will be right back. Alright, I used my new Bow It All tool and my Havana Brown seam binding to create these cute little bows. And the ones on the edges just slide back and forth. And if you watch Bonnie's tutorial, um, that she has on YouTube, it shows you how to create the bows um, and have them slide on the ribbon. So um, I have those on my edges, and I had thought about um, taking my banner apart and then doing that, but then I just thought, no, nah, I'll just glue them on. So I'm going to show you um, real quick here how I did that. So I'm just going to put a dollop of glue in the center of my ribbon here, and then I'm going to take my bow piece. I'm just going to hold it in place here for a moment with a little clothespin. So I'm going to let those dry and I will be finished. And then here is my last little bow on the other end and it's the same in that it slides. So it has, um, is actually on the ribbon itself. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and that you will go and check out Bonnie's store, Really Reasonable Ribbon, to find some wonderful ribbons and trims. And of course, you'll want to get some glitters from Art Glitter. And I would love it if you stopped by my Etsy shop and checked out my collage sheets and stepped, or, uh, stepped by my blog and gave me a visit. So have a great day, and I hope you um, can find some time to create something lovely for yourself. Bye.